Hey, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, uh, where I'm going to try and take a look at a killer Sudoku that's been uh, suggested to us on Twitter by Andrew Reed. Now, Andrew has a bit of a cult following um, on on the internet uh, for he creates some very very difficult Sudoku puzzles, um, and I've never I have to confess I've never tried one of his Sudoku puzzles, but I did look at somebody's explanation as of how to solve one of them. And it looked very, very complicated. So I imagine this might be quite challenging. Um, Andrew himself has suggested we try it. So uh, without further ado, let's try. Now, if you want to try the puzzle, um, you can just click on the link under the video and that'll take you to our software where you'll see exactly what I'm seeing now. Um, now, Killer Sudoku, best place to start is usually the cages that are restricted so 24 in three cells that's 789 so put that in six in three cells is one two and three ten in four cells is one two three and four just checking whether I can see anything else no okay um but this cell we can write in the value of using our old friend the 45 rule. The most important rule in the killer Sudoku is that the numbers from 1 to 9 add up to 45. And you know that every 3x3 three three box, every row and every column will contain the numbers from 1 to 9. So I know this box adds to 45, but it has an 8 cage and a 26 cage entirely contained within it. 8 and 26 add to 34, so I know these three cells must add to 11. And therefore this cell, to make up the 19, that's an 8. Now, okay, now we can do a similar trick, I think, on this box. We're going to be able to restrict the value of this square. So we've got an 8 cage and a 16 cage and another 8 cage, so that all adds up to 32. So these two cells have to sum up to 13, and actually that means this cell must be a 4. And this must be a 9, that's the only way of doing that, so that's better than I was hoping. Now, uh, what can we do next? 9, 2, 3. Um, sorry, I'm just staring at the grid for a minute. Um, let's look at the bottom row. We've got 15 and 25. So these two cells must sum up to 5 to make 45. So this is a 7. Oops. 7. These two must be... Well, there are two ways of making 5 in two digits. 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. And we can't yet disambiguate those. Um, this 9 is a bit interesting because the 9 can't go in the 19 cage anymore because the 19 cage already contains an 8. So 8 plus 9 is 17. We can't have two more digits in the 19 cage. 9 cage obviously can't go in the 8 cage. So there is a 9 in this 26 cage. And I'm going to make note of that. And I guess the other thing is this 8 cage Oh, this 8 in the 19 cage means that there must be an 8 in this 26 box as well. And now we've got an 8 here and an 8 in one of these three squares. So there must be an 8 in one of these three squares at the top. And that is helpful, believe it or not, because now we have 9 plus 8 is 17. And we need two more cells to add up to 4. Now you can only do that with 1 and 3. So that's 1 and 3. This 8 cage is now 2 and 6. And these 3 cells must be uh, 4, 5 and 7. Which means that's 5 and 7, it can't be 4. So 4, 5, 7, 4, 5 and 7. This is 1 and th or 3. Uh, so I now know there's a 4 in the 19 cage. So that gives us 12. So the other 2 squares uh, have got to add up to 7. So we can't have, we can never have a 7 in here. 
4 and 7 plus 8 is already 19. So actually, there must be a 2 in here. And it must be here in this square. Uh, just checking the arithmetic. That is correct. Therefore, this is a 7. This is a 1. Now, this is a 7. Let's remove the 7 from these two squares. Remove the 1 from that square. Ah, now, this 1, and the fact there's a 1 in one of these two squares, means there's a 1 in one of these three positions. But look, this square is part of an 11 cage. The 1 must go upwards. And now, we need these two, the other two squares to add up to 11 without using 7, 8, or 9. So this is 1, 5, and 6. And therefore, this down here is 2, 3, and 4. This isn't 2 because of the 2 here. This must be 7 or 8. And this does contain a 2, so the other two digits must be 4 and 6 or 3 and... Oh! Sorry, so that can be 6, but it can't be 2 and 3. So this, this must in fact this must be 3 here, because if this does contain 3, we can never make this work. 3, 4, 5. Oh no, am I being silly here? I think I might be. Yeah, I missed. I was going in the wrong direction. For some reason my brain wasn't working at all. Four. No, it is right. It is right. Sorry, let me just go back. It's the fact there's no 2 here means there is a 2 in one of these squares. Therefore, we can't have a 3 in this box because this would make this a 7, which clashes there. So this is a 6. This is a 3. This is an 8. Um, this can't be 8 or 9. Ah, now look, there's a little trick we can do here with this 9. Look at the central box. Where can a 9 go? Well, it obviously can't go in these three squares, but it can't go in the 13 cage now because we've got a 4 in the row. So 9 can only go there. Well, there's a 9 in one of these three positions. Ah, now the other thing we can say is that there must be a 4 in one of these two squares. Because the, again, we've got the 4 here, ruling out the 4 from these two squares. So there's a 4 either of the... So this is a 4, these two squares have to add up to 7, which is probably possible. Um, this is a 4, this is a 5. Okay. So that's, what's the next way we're going to make progress? Let's look at this box. We can do some arithmetic on this box because there's a relationship between these two cells. So we've got 14 plus 6 is 20. Ah, yeah, there is. There's parity between these two cells. So we've got 20 in these cages here, or these cells. So I know these four cells sum to 25. So imagine this square here was a 1, for example. If this was a 1, these three squares would have to sum to 24, and that would give us a 1 here. So these two squares are exactly equal. And that is really restricted, because this square can't be 1, 2, or 3. This square can't be 4. 5 looks possible, doesn't it? So that's a shame. 5, 6 is not possible. Seven looks like it might be possible. Eight is obviously not possible. Nine, nine is possible. Oh no, seven is not possible because of that seven. Look. Oh, why have I got eight in there? I think I meant to have nine in there. Now let's just take a quick look at this again because. Ah. 
this is starting to get confusing. What are the actual options for this box? Three and six. So this is six, eight, nine. Three, six, eight, nine. Three, six, eight, nine. Three, eight. Oh, this can't. Oh, that one in fact has to be a three because there's an eight, nine, and a six in the column already. I'm just trying to see whether I can use. Yeah, this can't be eight. So there's a one, five, six, nine quadruple now here. Therefore, this can't be five. This is four. That's five. This is six. Yes. Now, this is nine. There we go. Nine. This is six. This is nine. This is eight. This must be nine by the parity we established. And I need a seven to complete this column. Now we've got nine and seven here is sixteen, so this should be four and five with a five up there, that's five and four like that. That resolves the four and the two. This must be resolvable. Two, nine, nine. There's a nine in one of these three squares. Still can't resolve this. Um, six. Oh, hang on. There's parity again here. Look. Look at this box. So with the 9 here, these three cells must sum up to 12. 12 plus 16 is 28. So these three cells sum to 17, which is the same as this cage. So whatever I put in here, say I put a 1 again, this would be 16, we'd have to have a 1 here. So there is parity between these two cells. So what are the options now? This can be this can't be 1, because there's a 1 in the box, it can be 2. That can be 2, I think. 3 isn't possible. 4 isn't possible. 5 is can't see why 5 isn't possible, 6 isn't possible, 7 isn't possible because of this 7, 8 isn't possible, and 9 isn't possible because of the box. So this is a 2-5 pair. Now, that is that helpful? <laughs> um, maybe. Feel like I'm missing something. So if this would be two, this would have to be six and nine because seven eight would be ruled out. If this was five, oh hang on, this can't be five. If this is five, these two squares have to add to twelve without being five seven, without being three nine, without being four eight. So this is two. Therefore, this is two. So this is 6 and 9, which must be resolved in this order. Sorry, I know I'm being a bit slow, but I'm just checking whether or not I'm missing even more stuff. There's a 1 in one of these two squares. This must be 5 or 7. Um, this must be 4, 5, 7, which do add up to the right number. So there's a 4 up here. Um, ah, now this 4 means this is 2 and 3, because it's not 1 and 4, and there's 2 there, so we can do more there, 2 and 3. This isn't 3 anymore. This should be 1, 6, 8 into the 15 cage, which is, well, helpful and unhelpful. Can't see how to resolve it yet. Let's put it in there. Now, I 
feel like, again, I'm missing something really serious here. What is it? 3, 5, 7, 2, 6. Ooh, ah, there's twos here. Look, twos in one of these two squares and twos in one of these three squares. So we still need to put a two somewhere in column four. And it can't be in any of these five squares. So this square here is a two. That's beautiful. That's a good spot, that. The two here, obviously, ruling out this square. Now, this two is now part of this 31 cage, which leaves four digits left to make 29. Now, 29 in four digits has to be 5, 7, 8, and 9. So now, this square has to be a 9. It's the only place in this 31 cage that can take a 9. And now, this must be a 9, I think. Yeah, that's, that looks right. So, and now 7 here means this is a 7. This must be 5 and 8, which I can't resolve. Bother. Oh, it's still a good spot. That's still... Now this 7 means that we need a 5 and an 8 now in the 13 cage. With an 8 here, that means that this must be 8 and 5, like that. This must be 4 and 6. I haven't put a 6 yet in the... Ah, oh, there's a 6 here. So that's 6, that's 4, that's 3. This isn't 6 anymore. Oh, I don't know what happened now. I tried to remove a 6 and I failed. Ah, um, this 20 cage is now 4, so this must be a 5. Uh, that put 5 and 1 like that. So this is a... This is actually a 3. It's the only thing that can go in the Two here, nine and eight. Probably could have resolved that ages ago. You didn't see it. Um, this must be seven. That means this is seven. This is five, and this is four. We need a seven in one of these two squares, so that resolves itself. And we still need what's it? Three and five into this row. Uh, it's probably a way of resolving that, which I'm not seeing. Sorry. Three, five, three, five. Oh, there must be, in fact, there's a 1 here. Yeah, this is an 8. Therefore, this is a 5. This is an 8. This is a 3. This is a 5. Eights must be removed from those two squares. Um, now, what next? Well, we can fix this cell because we can do some arithmetic. So if we look at the 2 plus the 5 plus the 3 plus the 9, that adds up to 19, I think. Plus 20 is 39, so this should be a 6, which it is. I could have done that, but just seeing I only need a 1 and a 6 in the, um, in the row, and there's a 6 up there, so that would have been another way, probably a simpler way of resolving that, but forgive me. 3 and 1 like that, 6 and 1 like this, 1 and 2 like that. So nothing complicated, this is just unwinding stuff that we've already got. We need 1, 4 and 5 in here, so this is 4, this must be 5, 1, 1, 3, 3 here. And I think we've done it, um, but it was a lovely puzzle, um, not as difficult as I feared. Uh, whether I got a bit fortunate... Um, I don't know, you'll have to tell me in the comments whether or not um, I did. But there we go, I think that's done. Let's check. Looks all good. So that's how to do uh, a handmade killer stoku from Andrew Reed. Really enjoyed it. We'll do more of your puzzles in the future. So thanks very much for sending it to us. If you want to contact us, uh, you can use our Twitter account, which is at Cryptic Cracking, or our Gmail account, which is crackingthecryptic at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the content. We really appreciate that.